Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, some big news came out for Afria, and I want to talk about it. I want to, uh, uh, to, you know, give you my thoughts. Is this going to rally the weed market? Is, is the weed market going to take off from this somewhat big news? I mean, there's a lot of loopholes, and there's a lot of things wrong with this deal, and I kind of want to discuss it in this video. But uh, th before I th do that, I just wanted to say, uh, tell you guys a story. So I bought a pre-roll from Organigram. Uh, I think it's called like Fireblaze or something. I, I don't know. Some, but anyways, so I brought this joint to my friend's party. Well, well he had like a Christmas party-ish thing at his house, and um. So me and my friend, me and him and my friend, we we smoked. Uh, my we smoked uh, the organigram joint, and I was like, I don't feel anything. Like, I barely feel anything. Uh, my my other friend who didn't smoke weed too much, he's like, oh, I feel I feel high. And then uh, my friend was like, oh, I'm high. And then after like an hour, I was like, oh, I'm not high anymore. And uh, so it was very very weak. We smoked the whole joint, and then and then after that, we we uh, I gave my friend a Christmas present, uh, five Aurora pre-roll joints, and then we decided to smoke a pre-roll joint of Aurora, and we were fucked. He um I was like asking my friend, how high are you from one to ten? He's like eleven. I'm like, holy shit! And my other friend was like, spacing out the whole time. So they were fucked up on these Aurora Cannabis joints. These fucking joints are strong. They're very... Aurora makes fucking strong joints. That's all I have to say. Aurora has very good products. Organigram. Not so much. Uh, so, you know, will... will, will uh, so, the Afria news. Will they, uh, will they save... Um, Will they save the cannabis industry? Will McDonald's invest into Aurora Cannabis? I don't know. Uh, it would be a smart idea for, Aurora, uh, for McDonald's to uh, invest into Aurora. If that happens, that will rally the market. For sure. McDonald's is a big name. They, know, they might not be as big as Coke, but they are still a pretty damn big name. And they can come over with CBD burgers and CBD uh, drinks. Uh, and if if they're allowed in the future, maybe like uh, cannabis infused sandwiches, or cannabis infused drinks, or fries, or Big Macs, cannabis infused Big Macs. Uh, I you know like that could be a, a extension to their business. Uh, that could be a big uh, that could ha help add a big evaluation to their company. So I mean that that's I just no I saw this uh this McDonald's sign that is says marijuana uh I I laughed when I saw that so I decided to um you know talk about it a little bit uh you know show show you guys the McDonald's marijuana sign just for fun so I tried to look into Green Grow brands because I wanted to make a proper video I wanted to. Investigate the company more, find out more information, but you know, I filled it out, I accepted it, and they still they haven't sent me their uh, investor uh, relations yet, so I have to, I have to wait. Uh, did, yeah, I guess I have to wait. So we'll see if they, they they'll send it to me, but I couldn't find the investor relations. So hopefully they send it to me on email. We'll, we'll see. They, I already sent them an email and they haven't sent me back. So I decided just to make a video anyways. So there's a few things wrong with Aurora. Aurora just changed up their CEO. And now uh, uh, Vic Newfield no longer runs. Well, he's going to get kicked off of Afria and he's going to get replaced by another CEO. So that shows you guys that there was some insider trading, and insider trading is extremely illegal inside cat like the world, like basically United States, North America. It's extremely illegal to do insider trading, and that's what Afria did. 
and uh, some of the executives, including the CEO. This is just me speculating. I'm not 100% sure why the Afria shareholder uh, leaves, but it's strange. And then next thing, this I find this kind of strange too, that uh, you know, Afria was in rumors of talks. Uh, okay, so Green Grow Brands, they're worth $890 billion. Afria is worth... Oh, I don't have Afria up here. Okay, so Afria is worth, uh, you know, right now $1.8 billion. They're, they're paying with Afria with paper money for $2.8 billion in shares and cash. And the shares and cash are kind of funny because if you read it, right, the they expect to complete to concur broker finance of $300 million at a price of $7.00 to both illustrate confidence and value. So basically, they're diluting shareholders at seven bucks to raise $300 million to take out Afria. Because clearly, gro green growth brands does not have three $300 million in cash to buy out Afria. So they're basically asking shareholders to help them raise $300 million to buy out Afria on top of, on top of paying uh, on top of diluting their shares further, 1.571 common shares for every Afria share to acquire Afria and make them part of the company. And since uh, Green Grow Brands is a vertically integrated cannabis, uh, including cultivation, manufacture, and retail in Nevada, including, so th th they operate in Nevada. So they basically are a U.S. company that's try that doesn't clearly does not have the same market cap as Afria, and they're trying to take out Afria with diluting shareholders big time. The Green Grove brand shareholders big time, and they're they're hoping Green Grove brand shareholders back them up and support the uh, decision to take out Afria, and then uh, and since they're in the U.S., that that means that. Afria will be delisted from the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, so they're, they're basically losing the Toronto Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange to become part of Green Growth Brand. To me, that sounds a little sketchy. I mean, I, shareholders might back them up. I mean, I, I'm not, at the end of the day, I'm not billionaires. I'm not controlling this thing. To me, this sounds really weird and funny, and I mean... I'm going to stay away from it. I'm not going to buy it because to me, there's something fishy going on. I mean, if you're a risk taker and you want to buy Afria, because I honestly believe that uh, Afria won't trade above. I mean, right now it's already trading at 750. I don't think Afria is going back to 16 bucks. Uh, in the morning when you wake up, Afria is going to be probably around 9 bucks, maybe 10 bucks. So if you were to buy Afria, you're looking at a one or two dollar gain at ten to eleven dollars because I don't really think Afria stock will rise, and I actually I actually believe that it's gonna rise to maybe ten bucks and then it's gonna pull back to eight, maybe possibly below seven dollars. Uh, that's why I believe going forward, I believe that there's gonna be a massive rise for Afria, and then over time it's gonna go lower and lower and lower. And I also believe that because of the whole, you know, insider trading with the, the executives, I believe that um, the Green Growth brand is using this weakness to acquire Afria's assets. And they're going to be using shareholders' money to do that, and they're going to hope shareholders back them up for this ridiculous transaction uh, because they think Afria is worth it. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I just I don't know. Um, maybe maybe the green brand maybe uh, the shareholders of Green Growth Brand will back them up, but like literally that's like eight hundred ninety one billion dollar market cap. After this dilution, it's gonna be like the shares are gonna be way higher. They're gonna have like five hundred million shares or six hundred million shares, but they are gonna own all Africa's asset. I, at first, I don't really like Afria's asset to be to be honest with you guys. It's a bunch of greenhouses, and you know it's just 
I don't, I, I, I don't really don't see value in this. But you know, for Afria shareholders, this is great. But for green, green brand shareholders, this is not so great because Afria shareholders get away with some cash and some green, green brand grow, uh, some green growth brand shares. Uh, but then they lose the New York Stock Exchange and they lose the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, uh, so that's not a good sign. But then it, I guess they become a bigger player in North America because Green Growth Brand owns Nevada. They're growing in Nevada and maybe they'll expand across the United States. And then on top of uh, Liberal Health Science, they can merge that company with Green Growth Brands and become a really big dominant player in the United States and Canada, but they'll lose the, the New York Stock Exchange and the Toronto Stock Exchange for the next two years because I don't believe the United States will be f cannabis fairly legal in the next two years. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I believe that in 2021 is when the uh, United States will be fully fairly legal in the, uh, for cannabis in the United States. That's what I believe. So in probably another two years, two or three years, the United States will be fairly legal. So Green Growth Brand will have to keep executing the strategy, keep growing the company, and uh, you know, in the future they'll get listed on the New York Stock Exchange. But, uh, but you know, it's to me, it does, it, to me, the the transaction does not make sense. Maybe you guys can argue below and tell me that you know I'm I'm retarded and this this is a great deal and there's nothing wrong with this. No, please tell me. Please argue me. I love to hear a debate on this on this subject. I to me it sounds a little phony. Uh, you know it, what? They're also kind of like a science team, so it kind of helps out uh, off Afria because Afria is kind of weak on the science part of the of the company but they're very strong when it comes to growing cannabis at a low cost because they the they're doing it in giant greenhouses so you know there's some goods and bads in Africa but uh, Africa quality of weed I don't really like it I think it's hor I think it's bad uh, that's just my opinion though you guys you know other people have their own opinion I really don't like Africa weed. I think Aurora weed is way better. I also like Metro Leaf cannabis too. I think ca Metro Leaf have really, really good cannabis. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know why I have this up. And yeah, this is the Cedar. Uh, they Zing Zingox Pharmaceutical was the original name. I, I think they changed it to Green Grow Brands. But, uh... Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed this, I guess, my thoughts on you know, Afria saving the cannabis market. Uh, subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.